Welcome. Kit to Stock allows companies to pre-build and stock kits built by components into new individual SKUs. Reverse kitting allows companies to reverse the process, freeing up components in demand currently only available as part of a kit. Let us look at some of the benefits of kit to stock and reverse kitting. Kit to stock enables you to meet future customer demand for customer independent kits by producing them in advance. Controlled by a vast order, you can document and trace kit creation, measuring the consumption of components and the work effort. You can increase flexibility by reversing the kitting in case of demand for single components. Like the kit to order process, the kit to stock and reverse kitting process is controlled by a VAS order. The VAS order controls the process of bringing components from stock to the VAS workstation. As soon as the kit to stock order has been created, an outbound delivery and its connected warehouse order will ensure that components are brought to the workstation. After kitting, we will post goods issue for the components before an inbound delivery, and its subsequent warehouse order will bring the finished kits into stock. The process ends with goods receipt of the newly created kits. The reverse kitting follows the same process steps, however, this time, we bring kits to the workstation before dismantling them and storing the single components back into the warehouse. In this video, we will look at two examples. First, the creation of five kits, each built with two components. Then, a reverse kitting of one kit, dismantling it and storing the components. We begin our kit to stock process by opening the value added services, kit to stock app. We create a new VAS order with a bill of material. We enter order type, packaging specification, product, or more precisely, the kit. Then we enter the production quantity and unit of measure before we press continue. VAS order 102 was created. If we scroll down, we see that the kit consists of two components. With the VAS order in place, we will now look at the outbound delivery order and the subsequent warehouse order. The outbound delivery order was automatically created. From the outbound delivery order, we choose more, select outbound delivery order, follow on functions, and finally warehouse task. We see two warehouse request items. One request item for each component in our kit. They need to be moved to the kitting station. We mark them both and press the create plus save button. We select more one more time, then warehouse task and confirm. A new warehouse order, 201165, is now available, containing our two newly created warehouse tasks. With a warehouse order in place, we are prepared to move the two components to the kitting station. We use the RF processing app to perform the physical picking of the components. We select manually the newly created warehouse order. Before we can do the picking, we need to create a picking handling unit. With the handling unit, we move to the source bin. We confirm we are in the right location by scanning the bin ID. We scan and confirm the correct source HU, then the product ID. We enter the picked quantity, 5. We end the first pick by confirming the picking HU. For the second pick we repeat the process. We scan and confirm the correct source HU, then the product ID. We enter the picked quantity, 5. As for the first pick, we also end the second pick by confirming the picking HU. With both picks done, we need to bring the picking HU to the kitting workstation. When we are there, we confirm the activity area and the picking HU that we leave there. With the components in place, we can perform the actual kitting. Back in the value added services, kit to stock app, we can access the VAS work center with a click of a button. In the upper right corner we can see the handling unit with the two components that was just brought to the kitting station. In the bottom left corner we can see the VAS activity items. At the beginning of the kitting activity, we press start. The start time is recorded. When the kitting is completed, we press end without variances. The end time is similarly recorded. VAS status is now set to completed. With kitting completed, we are ready to post goods issue for the consumption of components needed to make the five new kits. We select the HU in which the components were brought to the kitting station and press the post HU button. After posting, we save and leave the VAS work center by going one step back using the arrow at the top left of the screen. Back in the VAS order, we look at the components warehouse request. Again, we can see that it is now fully completed, including the goods issue. The next step is to bring the kits from the workstation into the warehouse. From the VAS order, we look at the warehouse request for the kit. An inbound delivery request has been created. We go more, inbound delivery, follow on functions and finally warehouse task. 
A warehouse request is available to move the five kits from the VAS workstation to their put-away bin. We press the Create plus Save button to create the warehouse task and the corresponding warehouse order. With Warehouse Order 201-2166 created, we perform the physical put-away of the five kits. We use the RF processing app and select the warehouse order manually. Then, we follow the instructions and confirm the put-away in the assigned put-away bin. With that, all physical activities in the kitting process have been completed. Before ending our first scenario, we will look at the warehouse request for the kits once more. We see that it is successfully completed. From the VAS order, we see two material documents. One for the goods issue of the components and one for the goods receipt of the completed kits. After a modest and very brief celebration of the kit to stock process, we continue by looking at our second scenario, the reverse kitting. Again, except for the total opposite direction of the kits, the process has a lot of similarities with our first scenario. We begin the reverse kitting process by opening the value added services, reverse kitting app. We create a new VAS order with a bill of material. We enter a different order type, the packaging specification, product, or, more precisely, the existing kit. Then we enter the production quantity and unit of measure before we press continue. The VAS order is for the dismantling of one kit. Therefore, we will now prepare for the physical movement of the kit to the VAS workstation. First, we display the warehouse request for the kit. From the outbound delivery order, we choose more, select outbound delivery order, follow on functions, and finally warehouse task. We press the create plus save button with the warehouse request item marked. Warehouse order 201-2167 is now available. Therefore, we jump directly into the RF processing app. We select the warehouse order manually and follow the instructions as we bring the kit to the VAS station. As the kit arrives at the workstation, we can prepare its dismantling. Before we begin, let us look at the warehouse request for the kit. We see that the picking and packing of it are completed. The goods issue is yet to be done. From the VAS order, we open the VAS work center. In the upper right corner, we can see the handling unit with the kit brought to the kitting station. In the bottom left corner, we can see the VAS activity items. As we begin the reversing, we press start. When the reverse kitting is completed, we press end without variances. With reverse kitting completed, we are ready to post goods issue for the kit used. We select the HU in which the components were brought to the kitting station and press the post HU button. After posting, we leave the VAS work center by going one step back using the arrow at the top left of the screen. We look at the kit's warehouse request. We can see that it is now fully completed, including the goods issue. With the reverse kitting process done, we need to bring the two components back into the warehouse. From the VAS order, we open the warehouse request for the components. Then, we select more, inbound delivery, follow on functions and then warehouse task. Two warehouse request items are available to move the two components from the VAS workstation to their put away bins. We press the create plus save button to create the warehouse tasks. With the two warehouse tasks created, we select more, warehouse task and confirm. A new warehouse order is now available. With the new warehouse order, we can perform the put away for the two freed up components. As before, we use the RF processing app and select the warehouse order manually. Then, we follow the instructions and confirm the put away in the assigned put away bins. With the put aways, we have efficiently received the goods. So let us have a look at the system. When we open the inbound delivery request for the components, we see that it is complete. A jump back into the VAS order allows us to look at the material documents. We have one goods issue of the kit and two goods receipts. One for each component. It's time to celebrate. We have completed the reverse kitting successfully. Mission accomplished. Let us recap some of the benefits of kit to stock and reverse kitting. 
Kit to Stock enables you to meet future customer demand for customer independent kits by producing them in advance. Controlled by a vast order, you can document and trace kit creation, measuring the consumption of components and the work effort. You can increase flexibility by reversing the kitting in case of demand for single components. The views, information or opinions expressed are solely those of the individuals involved and not those of the individual's employer or any other group or individual. Thanks a lot for watching. Please comment, like and subscribe. More videos like this are coming shortly. See you then.